you become pregnant, diapers won't be the only thing you'll be changing. How about your sleeping habits, your friends, your school, and your dreams for your future? You'll be amazed at how far you can really go when you don't go all the way. Some people may say that talk is cheap, but Ricky Lake is using her celebrity to keep kids from making a costly mistake. Plus, she is still hosting her own talk show, is a recurring character on a sitcom. She's a mom, and she always has so much going on that we have plenty to catch up with every time she comes by. Please welcome our buddy, Ricky Lake. you I have to ask you because last time you were on you said you wanted to have another baby and I wondered if we have any news yet yes you did oh. you're pregnant you're gonna be good oh, nice. oh, yeah, it's funny that you were talking about that thank you yeah I was feeling so weird about being back because the last time I was here I was talking about how I'd lost all this weight I was feeling so good and I've gained a few pounds back but for good reason I'm three months pregnant oh, oh, you jumped the gun. I wanted to like set it up, build up the moment. Because yeah, I was told that, that you were not. I so I to surprise you guys. I didn't want you to know and then have to fake being surprised. Oh, so that's I, I've been you. hiding it. I've been keeping it. Oh, you it's little so devil. Hard, you guys. you it's, fake pregnant girl. Uh, work so hard. Work so hard. It's so hard. You know, my body image issues that I have. Oh. You know, I was feeling so good when I was here. What was it like five minutes ago? I was here yeah. like a month ago. Yeah. And I'd lost like 23 pounds and I was so proud of myself. And it's There's like, nothing more beautiful than a pregnant woman. I'm telling you. But, but you know, I'm a size eight, and now my ten. Ricky, is, look uh, at me. Quit tripping. <laughs> Enjoy your pregnancy. Oh. I'm trying. I'm, that's Enjoy what I'm trying to do. And I'm oh. thrilled. I'm so blessed. I'm so happy that I was able Girl, to have a Girl, I got a so couple of eighteen. You can wear them. <laughs> 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 The doctors tell you to put on what years ago it used to be you, yeah. you couldn't. Now they want you to gain a few. And pounds. I'm so hormonal. I mean, it is just it's it's, it's an outer body experience because I'm so ravenous. I'm, I I can't control it as most pregnant people know. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of these things where I'm hungry. I'm nauseous. Then I'm hungry. Then I'm ha nauseous after. Is it I different eat, than you know? your first pregnancy? I'm much more nauseous. You're going to have a girl like that because God when really? I had Lily, I was so sick all the time, and my boys never. You, you know, know why they say only a woman could make their mother feel that bad? <laughs> <laughs> The boys you think, will get you later. Yeah. I'm so nauseous you'd think I'd throw up, but my body will not get rid of one calorie. I mean, <laughs> I, I wish. Well, it's I'm a good you're changing now, but you were on that zone diet for a Love while. Yeah. The zone. I, I'm not on the zone currently because I, 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 I can't, you know, it's like I'm so picky about what I can eat right now, but I will the second I have this baby. But didn't that get monotonous, that food after a while? I loved it. You did? I loved it. And I, it just was a great routine for me. I'm, I'm a Virgo, so I like everything, you know, in order and to have everything scheduled out. So you're I a pregnant it. Virgo, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm, now I'm like, give me food. I don't yes. care. Get, put it in front Just of me. Just be healthy and take care of the booby and take yeah. care of yourself and I will. Stop. I will. I'm so happy. And this whole working mother thing, you were talking about daycare. I mean, I would love to have what Rosie has. And Steve Bosco, my, my lovely, handsome boss, if you're watching, uh, it's something we would really love. There's so many babies at, at our staff. I know, think Rosie pays for it herself. Well, you know what? I might cough up a few bucks. I, yeah, it's really been good to me. Yeah. I can certainly get back to, to my You might staff. have to chip in. Yes, I would. I yeah. would. Speaking of the show being good to you, you've been on now, what, eight, eight years seasons. now? Eight seasons. And you have done every show from childbearing to cheating spouses mm -hmm. to all over the place. And one issue that's important to you is teen pregnancy. Absolutely. Yeah. We've done some amazing shows. One just recently that we aired that was about uh, basically young people telling their parents they were hiding their pregnancies. It was such a... a a profound experience to be able to be there to help them tell their parents and what it taught young people out there is that it's never as bad as you think it's going to be and it was just it was, su it was such a powerful moment and in that through that experience we saved I think it's over 90 babies because we ran a hotline through Project Cuddle which is a hotline for young people to cut, get in contact with a help group that'll help them tell their parents it keeps them from abandoning their babies going through their pregnancies without pre prenatal care and it saved 90 children why, as far as why we are you know. taking this on because I'm so impressed with this um, well, our audience, our core audience, are these young people. A lot of them are urban, a lot of them don't have uh, health care, they're, they're not well educated, and uh, a lot of them want children uh, for the wrong reasons, out of wedlock, and they want something to love, and um, I think it's something that we can, we can really make a difference, and we have done that. And I are think there it's any just, right reasons, do you think? 
Absolutely. Do well, I have a baby? I do. But what do you think are the right reasons to have a baby? Well, I think, first of all, having a husband. I know you were talking that about helps. Lisa yeah. getting pregnant. I mean, <laughs> it's backwards in so, I mean, when we do our show sometimes. I can't believe that these, these people, you know, we did a show yesterday. We had, a, a, I think she was 23 and pregnant with her sixth child oh, with Lord. six different fathers. Well, and, ridiculous. you know, I, I mean, there's something clearly wrong. Yeah. And, and, of course, her mother had her when she was a teenager. And this is, it's a, you but know, they get a lot of effect. signals from Hollywood stars that you can have a baby out of wedlock, that you yeah. can have a baby without a husband. Do you talk I mean, a lot about abstinence? We do, and that's that's. The, I'm working with the national campaign to prevent teenage pregnancy, and that's the the, the promo that you saw, the PSA. Um, it teaches the, the it gives the power to the teenager and teaches them that it is up to them. But we give them all the resources. What is out there? Abstinence, of course, is is encouraged, but so is protection and and whatnot. And so. adult women making decisions versus young people sure. making decisions is a big difference mm -hmm. in what you're doing. And you're really Absolutely. dedicated to the and, kids. And that's I, you know, great I'd love to you. be the example. I mean, not that I want to be a role model for people, but, you know, I was married for three years and set up a foundation, not only financially, but emotionally with my husband, um, had our first child, and that, of course, is, you know, turns the world upside down, and, and now, finally, we're ready for another one, but um, it's, it's a big step, and I think that's what children don't look. They don't look at the big picture. How old is your little boy now? He's three and a half. Is he, does he know? He does. He's telling the world that he's having a, ba a baby sister's in his mommy's tummy. So, <laughs> so he wants a sister? I don't know. He does, but, you know, I'll let you know. I'll come back, yeah, you know. Right. I'll be the pregnant person visiting on the couch. Well, you come back. You think? Right. You come back soon and big Thank and beautiful. You. Thank and you. Just Two we tend to give showers so to our friends. Oh, oh that's right. So we might have Thank to give you. you a shower on the show. Oh, oh, love it. Thank you. Right. And now that I'm here, our <laughs> thanks to Wiki <laughs> Lincoln Law Firm. Yeah. We come back for that's showing you our everything you need for a preparing yeah, spa experience is in your kitchen right now. Come on back. You blew it. I was going to like fly. I didn't know.